that teleport thing never gets old and it's a lot of fun trust me welcome to another episode of that deep 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 shit where we teleport and connect the dots right on today's episode we're gonna touch on a subject that has been done by many but not by me all right we're gonna talk about avatars and what is an avatar now this is fresh fresh off the dome all right okay so if we look at the, uh, up, up the word avatar in the dictionary it's gonna it's a sanskrit word meaning that it comes from the hindu pantheon right so it's a sanskrit word that pretty much means um soul or deity incarnation in a human body all right so all that says is that there's a soul that is in a human body and it's making a distinction between the two which we all should know so what i want you to do right now you can do this with me hold your hands out in front of you in front of your face or in front of your body right now look at your hands think about what's going on you are looking at your hands something inside of a shell is looking at the shell all right so if you just pay attention you are something that is inside of a vehicle if you will if you really think about it like a like a machine you're telling your hand to move and you're observing your hand and you're observing your motions if you're blessed enough to have hands you know and if you do have hands know that you're blessed all right so my, my point of, of even going there is I did a video called um, um, the body is a temple I think that's the name of it I'll put the, the video right there oh no 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 right there that's a better one yeah right there so, um, and in that video, I kind of touch on uh, higher deities and higher entities that have created humans. Now, given that the definition of avatar is a soul or deity that incarnates in body form, you must, must realize the, that we all are soul groups. Well, most of us are soul stardust material meaning that we originate um from somewhere that is not locally here we'll just say that okay uh hence the 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 whole uh idea of zodiac signs and astrological signs and all that just really alludes to that we come from or our soul originates from a certain part of the universe galaxy multiverse what have you and by way of the sun which is a um energetic plasma converter of souls that's why the latin word of sun is soul um the sun converts these souls from other places in the universe and shoots them to uh, different locations but uh, specifically we're talking about earth in this video um, and when the sun spits the souls out into specific locations like the earth um, these uh, souls or spirit energy uh, incarnates in a body so technically we all are avatars so just for a second let's let's um reminisce back on the movie uh avatar the james cameron film um and a lot of times when you watch these films they drop a lot of high occult science in these films but just the mundane person with you know average uh k through 12 type of schooling um are not picking up on and you know and that's the average joe you know what i'm saying are not picking up on these occult teachings or lessons that are getting dropped in these films or cartoons constantly so like i said let's let's revisit the movie now remember in the movie um uh jane was uh, the dude i don't know what his name was he got into this incubator type of uh contraption or whatnot and 
uh, projected his consciousness, right? He projected his consciousness into a uh, body that was uh, that could that that could survive on the planet. I can't remember what the planet's name was or whatnot, but um, the point being is he was a person. He projected his consciousness into a body and his and his consciousness animated this particular body uh, or avatar, if you will. Now, what this movie uh, pretty much did is it, 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 it dropped heavy, heavy game on what we are. OK, your soul or your higher self does not. And this does not apply to all people, but this does apply to most. I cannot stress that point enough. But I'm going to leave that right there because that can be a whole separate video by itself. But for the most part, um, your higher self resides somewhere else, okay? And it's projecting its consciousness into um, a body, okay? Now, this may be a little touchy for some viewers. Uh, if you're new to this channel, um, hold on to your seat belts. If you've been here riding with me and we've been learning together, this should be nothing new to you. Um, the hum the deity or entity that is responsible for creating humans goes by many different names. Um, and there may be many different um, entities responsible, but We'll just talk about the one main entity um, that most people uh, subscribe to, okay? The reason why this entity was very, very ingenious with its um, creation process um, is because it created human beings that could create. That's why in the Bible it says, let us, us, make man in our image. So if you are a creator, you're going to make, they've made man or one man um, in the image of them. So therefore, they made uh, the body, uh, the body, the human body, a self-creating machine. Now. The reason why I called it a machine is because that the human body is electro is an electromagnetic bio computer self regenerating system pretty much um, it pumps by a heart which is energized by electricity um, also magnetic as well so it's like a battery. OK, so it's, it's like a, a, a biological robot. So this body can can keep creating other bodies for other souls to carnate inside of the consciousness from higher realms, carnate inside these bodies that keep creating. I'm showing you or describing um, the creation story that goes a little bit in more detail than um, mundane skimming pages through the Bible or Torah or um, Quran or what have you. Any religion of your choice, any religious text is what I'm trying to get to. But this is how this is how it's set up. So generally, we're 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 all avatars. Now, the where it gets kind of um, complicated or complex. Is when you have uh, people who make reports of seeing um, extraterrestrials. We're going to get into the topic of extraterrestrials right now. I don't think I've done this yet on this page. Yeah, I, I don't think I've done this on this channel. I, I don't think I've touched on this topic. But we're going to do it right now, though. Right now. Um, when they report some extraterrestrials as looking like... Big head, big eyed, gray, green people or whatnot. Um, you have to realize what you're seeing 
is mm, a space suit or an inanimate body. Okay, an inanimate body. Um, one movie alluded to this, I think it was called, um, The Fourth Kind. If I'm not mistaken, it's called The Fourth Kind. If I am, I'll correct it and I'll put either The Fourth Kind right there or whatever movie that it was, right? Um, because in the movie, um, some guy gets abducted, he, he's on a, he's on a ship, um, and then he's running around the ship. And then he opens up a door and there's this uh, suit that looks like an alien hanging in the closet. Pretty much is what it was, right? So um, this is something that's not really commonly known. But the reason why that, that these gray aliens are really just spacesuits of entities is because this, uh, this third dimensional plane um, that we call Earth... You got to understand these higher these higher dimensional beings. They cannot reside here. They cannot come here um, and and breathe or 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 more so even live. It's being down here is like s the sewer. Like, would you go into the sewer? Would, would you no? Would you jump into a dumpster? How would you feel? You'd be like, this shit is fucking disgusting. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? So if you had to jump in a dumpster, you would want to put on a Tyvek suit or whatnot and get in the dumpster and do what you had to do. That's exactly what um, these quote unquote uh, gray aliens are. They're just more like inanimate robots that a higher entity is either controlling remotely or um, uh, projecting their consciousness into to function on lower tiers of dimensions. Um, another movie alluded to this, a movie called, uh, what was the name of this movie? Cocoon. Cocoon alludes to this as well. Um, it's where these, these aliens were in these cocoons, but when they came out, they had to kind of put on these human skin so they can survive you know what i mean and if you haven't seen cocoon which i haven't seen in years i would highly suggest go check that out another movie that drops high science um um so but i'm, I'm saying all of this to kind of get to the point of deities now when you think about yashua or better a person better known as jesus um, you know, some people will argue if this person actually lived and walked the planet or not. Um, I would say, um, a very awakened being whose name was not Jesus, more probably Yahshua, uh, did walk the planet and his whole his whole message was misconstrued and twisted and now we have a religion based off of what he was saying. What he was trying to explain <laughs> was exactly what I'm trying to explain to you now is that you have a higher self and you are incarnated in a body and he was just trying to relay this message in, 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 in a certain kind of fashion, which was not popular at the time. And all the other stuff that surrounds all that, that's up to you to decide or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because there is a lot of bullshit that surrounds that whole Jesus theory. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. Like I said, whole nother video. Matter of fact. I never did a video on that. So, um, yeah. So there's many deities or many different spirits or souls that incarnate here on uh, this third plane or this third level, uh, third dimension of existence. You know, um, the what's important and what's happening now during this time of the shift is uh, self-realization of this fact. 
Um, and with this being said, what's going to come with that is a lot of um, awareness of capabilities that we all have. And like I said, a lot of this is uh, alluded to in a lot of religious texts, but it's not just one person that can do these things. We all have the potential. Most of us have the potential. And the reason why I say most of us is because um, there are some robots walking around here. And, and I say robots jokingly, but just like how I explained earlier, um, bio mechanical reproductive machines, um, um, Tupperware, <laughs> soulless um, people. Uh, you know, and it does not necessarily have to do with color, which a lot of people do think, but I will say this, if you, if you look closely, if you look closely, you can see who is who. I'll just say that. You know what I mean? If you look closely, you can see certain things just ain't there. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's a lot of them. It's a lot. So uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down. I, I hope this helps someone figure out something. And like I, and like I always stress, man, I'm not trying to be a, um, a teacher. I'm more so of a master student. If, if anything, if you want to put any label on anything, which I don't even agree to labels, but um, I dropped these, these lessons, um, so to speak, because, you know, um, it may spark another idea in another student of existence, you know what I mean? And they may have an idea off that and then they may drop a video or share uh, what's been revealed to them because we're all going through the time of the shift and I'm just playing my part and I just really super super encourage everybody to do the same so uh, with that being said I'm out